Hello guys, this is your host, Master Bucket Smith, and with me today is... Hey everyone, here's Lab. There we go. And we will be co-hosting the interactive tutorial. What uh, question are we gonna answer first, uh, Lab? Okay, um, we've collected questions of two people, um, Magic Accent and... Okay, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Jason one or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, him. <laughs> I, I'll I'll just say Jace. That's right. the reasonable Jace. part. Jace so, and magic uh, action. Magic action and Jace. Uh, Jace questions tend are are more in depth and I think more um, yeah more into the game so. Well, magic axes are really basic, uh, so let's start on the basic ones. Sure, magic yeah. Action, magic accent wants to know how to enter and find new systems, how to upgrade your ship, how to trade stuff, and what can you actually do in the game. Alright, well, uh, I'm not sure if my memory will serve me that well, so I'll just uh, start with the first one. Yeah. Finding and entering new systems. All right. Well, I'm gonna open up the uh, universe map here, and you will notice that I've only explored the sector that I'm in, which is Uranus. I've explored Uranus. I'm starting yeah, in yeah, Uranus. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that. And um, everybody does that. <laughs> It, it, it's not. It, it's not like beating a, a dead horse anymore. It's. It's like beating the dust of a horse which has been beaten over centuries by now. Right. Oh, we're being interrupted by the uh, Terran plot. But we're just gonna ignore that uh, stuff. All right. Well. What's that Samuel L. Jackson? Sorry. What's that Samuel L. Jackson? No, not really. <laughs> there we go. Guidance disabled. Anyways, the uh, Terran space has uh, jump gates that you cannot jump to. So whenever you want to go to uh, Uranus or uh, Earth, <laughs> I'm just naming two planets. You'll have to go to Heretic's End and fly the rest. There are scripts that uh, change that. You'll have to fish around on the forum uh, if you find those. And I'm sure we'll cover uh, mods and scripts on a later episode, so hang in tight. Alright, well, apparently uh, you start this start, which is the uh, Terran main plot start. I don't remember the name. With all the uh, uh, gates explored. And we're just gonna hit the... wait. Um, range 3. Yeah, we're gonna hit... Saturn, Saturn, which is on the east side, there. If you're wondering uh, why my uh, HUD looks different, it's because I've installed a mod for the Let's Play series I will be starting up. And I'm playing that in Albion Prelude to take advantage of all the new cool stuff that there is in there. But the only way I ca could get the... Uh, HUD mod to work was to place the uh, mod files in the main Terran Conflict folder. So the HUD will work on both games. As Maybe. far as um, uh, functionality goes, uh, it's it's basically just the same. Everything is in the same spot and everything. So it will only look different, but everything will be in the same place. Okay, maybe you could hit the J in order to uh, compress time. Yeah, I'm just gonna improve the uh, speed at which it does, because whenever you start a new game, it will be on 6 instead of 10. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, what, what was the next question? Maybe I can uh, answer it right away. How to upgrade your ship? Alright, well, Actually, what? No, 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 scratch that. Let's go to what can you actually do in the game. Ah, that's a good one. Well, what can't you do in this game? It's <laughs> a bold uh, question. That was a loud uh, sound. 
crushing babies on their food. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Busted me there. Well, uh, primarily you can trade and you can do combat in this game. And there are various missions you can do. Whenever a station has a mission, they'll have a little icon above it. And we're not close enough to any station now to uh, see if they have a mission available. We'll find out soon enough. What the... In case you're wondering my, my, what my ship is doing, they've got uh, monkeys as uh, autopilot in this game. So whenever uh, you engage an autopilot, expect to be going places, except where you want to go. And um, well, we'll cover missions in a little bit, when we get to a station that has one, we'll have to find one first. You can see we have the shipyard in our uh, scanner range, but it has no mission available. Aside from missions, there are uh, bigger plots, which you have to uh, unlock. By meeting criteria and as you saw in the uh, beginning of this episode we uh, ran into the first Terran plot which is unlocked straight away when you select this start again I don't remember the game but it's the only Terran one when you have um, a vanilla game and uh, you can actually do the Argon main plot if you uh, fly all the way down to Argon Prime which is pretty far off You'll have to fly through either a Xenon sector or pirate space, which could be a problem in the uh, starting ship, so I would not recommend going there right away. And otherwise, no. you could trade, and trading is very, very a big thing in this game. It's, it's huge. You've got an enormous market function in this game, which I love about it, and we'll be discussing that in a, another episode, I think, because it's such a big topic. Uh, I'll be able to talk about it for hours and not have everything divulged. So yeah, that's basically the most of the questions of Jay's are involving in, if not all, because building stations is also part of the trading uh, aspect of this game, I guess. Right, yeah, yeah, we'll be covering that in the uh, trading part as well. Ah, there we go, the shipyard now has a mission. But we're outside its calm range, so we're gonna head back. I think it's 25 kilometers. For the record, there we go. The, the, the thing is huge. Yes, Terran stations are friggin' huge. All the other races have smaller uh, stations. Anyways, as you can see here, this guy has a uh, mission for us. Uh, apparently a trade mission considering the sans look. Um, no, it's a passenger transport mission. You can open up the information uh, screen here. As you can see, okay. passenger transport. 11 passengers. There are taxi missions and uh, passenger transport missions like these. Taxi missions have only one person you need to uh, get somewhere. And these have multiple pe people. You will need the, um, ah, I forgot the name. There's an upgrade for your ship that allows for people to be uh, compressed in your uh, <laughs> in your cargo space. It's a little oversight because uh, it's explained uh, in the game how your cargo bay works. And there's some kind of uh, quantum mechanic stuff going on that compresses space within your cargo hold to a smaller format but people go in your cargo hold as well if you have the upgrade so i guess they're being compressed as well i don't know how they do that but that's how it works folks we can't take this mission because we haven't got the uh, upgrade for it cargo life support system that's the name and if you take this mission uh, we will fail it instantly because the guy will die You'll probably hear a uh, yell. We could actually try that for kicks. Let's go say, and I'll take the job. Now we have to duck at the shipyard. I'm just gonna click on it. I prefer to use a joystick for flying, but 
uh, also use my mouse and keyboard for uh, various hotkeys and the mouse pointer is just a uh, faster way of going around the uh, uh, interface. And I'm using a gamepad, one of the uh, PC version of the official uh, PlayStation 1, so it has these two thumb joysticks. I just get the feeling the music is on too loud, so I'm just <laughs> gonna edit that. It's okay to have a little bit of background uh, music, but... Oh, wait. Uh, where was I? I'm gonna put the subtitles on and the ship computer off. I'm gonna also gonna turn off the uh, station announcement, so we'll not have the uh, annoying uh, voice going through our voices. Gonna check like in on little our... settings. Like our voices aren't annoying enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, as long as you're not running a cockpit mod, I would uh, seriously recommend putting the uh, numerical shield and hull display on. Because if you're gonna go into uh, capping, or you're gonna be attacked a lot as a freighter or something, it will uh, help a lot seeing actual numbers instead of a bar that should represent your entire shield bank. And hull. Red is hull. Yellow is shield. And in vanilla it should be blue for shields and red for hull, I think. Or was it green for hull? I don't know. Just gonna speed up things here. Blue is shield and green is hull, if I'm correct. Right. By the way, um, while we're docked here, can you show how to upgrade your ship even though we can't buy it? But is it possible to show how you can upgrade your ship? Uh, what do you mean? Give commands to my own ship that I'm piloting? No, um, how to upgrade it. Alright, yeah, I can show that. You go into the uh, trade menu here, and this is a shipyard, so it will have all these ships for sale. And they're all red, because uh, if you look at the bottom of this menu, on the left side is our rank, and on the right side is the rank we need to buy this particular ship. And uh, I'll show you the ranks in just a little bit. We'll get right on that. First I'm gonna... Ah, the mission is gone, we took too long. Ah, uh, that, that's no uh, problem, we'll just find another one later. Alright, so, I'm gonna hit to uh, pilot status. And this is your overview of uh, your all your ranks and, and other statistics of your current pilot. As you can see, we have 1000 credits, we've been playing for 24 minutes. We're in Saturn, that's nice to know. Our combat rank is an opportunist. I Our hope we're at Saturn, not in Saturn, otherwise we have a major problem. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> Point taken. We're uh, no, trading rank harmless. No, wait. A guest giant. <laughs> oh, I imagine the uh, ship would be uh, up to that. Oh, actually, if you fly into the atmosphere, you blow up. Anyways, our trading rank is opportunist, and our combat rank is harmless. I got that the other way around. And as we can see here, we're um, a uh, uh, asteroid belt access for the ATF, which means we can uh, go all the way up to the uh, Ort belt, whatever its name is, without Ort getting cloud. shot. The Ort cloud? Yeah, I think so. Or was it asteroid? I think it's just asteroid belt, by the way. <laughs> and we're a local yeah. counselor for the Terran. We haven't discovered any other races yet, but as soon as we uh, do, we'll see them uh, line up in here and we can review our current rank for them. You can uh, improve your uh, uh, rank with different races by doing jobs for them or destroying their enemies in their space. So if the uh, Boron are at war with the Paranid, for example, you could increase your rank by just blowing up Paranids in Boron space. But what would happen is that you would lose your rank with the uh, Paranid. 
So you should take Pirates, note of that. Pirates, however, are free game. Yep. Pirates, Sheenan and Cock. The, uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Cock. Cock. I don't know. Whatever. The aliens. The aliens, the Xenon, which is the uh, computer race. Those two are the um, uh, the main enemies. They will attack you on site. They will attack anyone on site. And uh, pirates mind their own bases. There are pirates that will uh, just fly and ignore you. And there are pi pirates that will go after you. Especially if you're flying a trader with valuable cargo in it. They tend to uh, chase you. Actually, I just was in a fight where half of the pirates ignored me and the other half of the pirates tried to kill me. That was kind of weird. Alright. Well, I wanted to show uh, how you could upgrade your ship, but this station does not have any ship upgrades at all. So we'll have to dock at a different station. And we're going to just check if there is a trading station here. Uh, there's some kind of uh, factory. There should be a trading station here somewhere. And I have no idea which one it is. What is the, what is the default hotkey to show the map? Ooh, I think it's M, but I'm not sure. M or N. I am not running default hotkey, so uh, really got no idea. Alright, what's this? Well, well, you can always find it, look it up in the... Uh, ah. Here we go. Settings. Just gonna duck at that one. That one has uh Oh, the shipboard has a uh, mission again. We'll check that in a bit. It's probably gonna be too late for us, but... We'll find one eventually. What amazes me, if you are using the other pilots to land somewhere... Uh, for example, you need to be in New York it'll send you via Tokyo or something in order to get to New York. It goes way off in order to get to the landing station. Yeah, that's because of the uh, collision detection. I, I, I turned off the... Uh... Hang on, I just need to check this. Oh, that's odd. I thought those messages w should be gone. Anyways. Yeah, that's because of the uh, retarded collision detection in this game. There is a script that improves that. Which I will uh, get to in the part where we discuss various mods and scripts. But um, for landing with the autopilot, you need to, fall, you need to go to uh, the end of the yellow dots that you saw right before we dock. Yep. And if you fly manually, if you dock manually, you can skip those and just fly straight to the dock docking port. Just remember to slow down. There's a maximum speed at which docking will work. Otherwise, you'll just ram your ship into a station. And if your shields aren't strong enough, you'll just blow up instantly. All right, here we go. This station does have missiles and uh, weapons. There's a weapon here, but. Again, we don't have a high enough rank to buy them, however, we can sell them. And I also know that some upgrades for the ship, like a cargo bay extension. Yes, these are uh, the typical ship upgrades that we have. And this is the ship equipment, but uh, street lingo, this is still a ship upgrade. Anyways. To get these, engine tunings will uh, make your uh, ship go faster. You can just select... Oh, uh, well, we don't have enough money. <laughs> I wish I had the cheat package now just to uh, show a couple of things, but I did not install it. Uh, we can uh, show it here. Here, we can uh, select a few and then we'll run out of money. And now our cargo, cargo bay will be slightly larger. The rudder optimization is how fast your ship can turn around. It's not really that important. Except on a slow freighter. And these are all the uh, types of software that you can install on your ship. The boost extension will allow you to uh, gain your max speed in a short amount of time. You using shift I believe. The duplex scanner which we have installed. 
doubles the scanner range of the default scanner and there's also a triplex scanner which does the, ob the obvious triples the range of the scanner. The fight command software is needed for uh, various other tasks and software and if you have Mark II you can set your auto aim on uh, fully on and not only semi. And by doing that aiming will be a lot easier which uh, otherwise will be pretty much impossible. If you have it on you just have to uh, put your uh, Corsair Crosshair, sorry, near the enemy ship and the uh, auto aim will do the rest. If you have it off you will have a hard time fighting anyone because they'll uh, be turning around like I don't know what and it's just difficult to uh, keep on track. And well yeah all the other softwares here they do all kinds of things. The trading system extension is something that you'll need if you're gonna do a lot of training, this will allow you uh, to trade with stations without docking at them. But we'll uh, get uh, to this kind of stuff later. So, uh, does that answer the question, do you think? I guess it does. Alright. Well, uh, how, to, how to trade stuff could be seen over there as well. Yeah, it's basically it's you dock. At a station. Yeah. And you, uh, you just buy this stuff. It goes a bit, um, well, it's it's bigger than this. You'll have to know what kind of prices are good and shit. And uh, also, uh, if you notice here, he has about half of what he can hold in Kyrus missiles. I think these are missiles. Uh, oh, these are fighter drones from the Terrans, right? I just did that by hitting I. I don't know if that's the default button, but you can try it. If they have uh, zero of these, they will pay more. And if they're uh, almost full, they'll pay less. So the whole uh, buy uh, low, sell high applies in this game. And there are various upgrades for trading to uh, enhance the whole trading scheme such as the trading system extension, but there are a couple of others uh, which you will divulge on later. Alright, what's the next question? Um, we've handled upgrading your ship, how to trade stuff, uh, what you can actually do in the game. Yeah, well, we were joking about it, but yeah, well, you can do a lot. We did answer that, we did answer that. Trading, yeah, fighting, trading, missions. Fighting. The main plots. You can um, be a pirate if you want and you just uh, raid everyone. Okay. Um, how to get other trading ships? Is that too advanced for now or...? No, we can do that. We'll, okay. uh, ju we'll just undock, head to the shipyard. Okay, the questions we have left at the moment are all by Jace. Um, it's how to start a trading company. That's probably too advanced for now. How to yes. build stations and keep them running. Well, we need a lot of money for that. We don't have that. Nope. How to sell trading routes with other ships. All I right. Think that's oh, yeah. as well. It's a bit um, cryptic, but I, uh, I'll know how to answer that. We're just gonna uh, do this one first. We actually don't have money to buy a trading ship at the moment. We might just uh, install a cheat package for the next episode. Not to actually cheat anything, but just to... Uh, Show stuff. Yeah, it's easier. Alright, well... <laughs> oh, that's the uh, mission that we try to uh, do. Okay. So, if you have, uh, if you don't have a cargo life support system and you dock at that, you'll fail the mission because you don't have it, and then it just stops. Or did we actually? No, it's still active. It'll probably just vanish after the uh, time left, and then will then it will be filled. We can also cancel it. Uh, 
abort mission. There we go. Can abort, abort the main uh, quest. This will lead to a reputation loss or rank loss, but it's very small, so ignore it. If you ever feel like aborting a mission, just do it. And trading ships. Oh, well, there we go. The Terrans only have the Baldrick in the vanilla game, I believe, as a trading ship, which is a, a TS. Not sure what it stands for. Probably German, because the developers are German. The Scabbard is a uh, passenger transport. Which is basically the same as the Baldrick, except uh, specialized in uh, passengers. Uh, well, we have some capital ships here, and the rest are fighters. Wait a minute. The Baldrick is a, is a class of ships? No, Baldrick is the name of the ship. Okay. And the TS denotes the class of the ship. So TS are uh, the, the basic type of freighters. You also have super freighters and uh, all kinds of freighters, but we'll uh, get to that later. When we, uh, in the next episode, when we have the cheat package, I can spawn all sorts of ships and uh, show the differences. And the maybe, S, maybe. M and L notation that you see here, uh, it doesn't mean small, medium and large. <laughs> it uh, denotes what kind of equipment you uh, start the ship out with. So that's basically just lasers and shielding you'll get with it. Not the built-in components or uh, any of the other upgrades. Just the shielding and laser. So the small will have one, one MJ shield and no lasers and if we pick the large one we'll have five 25 mj shields which is the maximum it can hold if you look here you can also see that if you buy the ship it's uh, at half of its max speed so we'll be able to upgrade it same goes for the um, uh, oh that's acceleration that's still the um, engine tuning and the rudder is roughly half as well Oh, that is half. And uh, well, that's the, uh, the the tunings you get. And the cargo base starts at three thousand three thousand. So, sorry. <laughs> at, at two thirds of its mass. Yes. Uh, these are all things you'll be uh, able to upgrade. Except uh, from the, um, I mean, uh, the, these are those three basic upgrades that we saw earlier, and not the software things. Once you buy uh, this, it will be docked at the shipyard. You'll go to uh, either landed ships, and it will be in a list here. Owned ships, or you can go to your property list. This is a uh, very handy list of everything you own. There's a couple of options here which you uh, can set if you want it. Like if you have a bunch of satellites that keep track of your uh, personal factories later on. But you don't want them to show up in this list because they'll just clutter everything up. You can turn it off here and same goes for everything else. And you can select stations only, ships only, ships that are set in wings, sectors that you own, I think. And uh, where your assets are in. Personnel, I'm not sure, sure what this is. I think it's uh, Marines, but we'll get on that. Uh, w what that means later, Marines. And some s statistics. I never look at this. Not really interested in that. Anyways, when you uh, get here, you can set up a manual trading route by selecting your ship, heading for autopilot, the command console, navigation, and then dock at whatever station you wanted to dock. For instance, at the EMPC Forge Alpha here. And then it will engage the autopilot for that ship. In this case it was a ship we are flying, so it will uh, fly us there. But if it was the uh, trader that we bought, or would have bought, it will send the trader there. You will need trading system extension to trade with it uh, without docking at it personally. And 
Uh, you will need trading software Mark 1 and 2, I believe, for effective trading. You can also make a automated trader, but that's something for the next episode or whenever we get to divulge into trading. Because it's um, uh, for setting up a automated trader, which is a um, whole another level. I'm aboard this Terran station. Alright. Any other questions? Um I doubt it. Yeah, how to set trading routes with other ships you already set it right now. With if you have multiple ships you can use the um autopilot function. Yeah. So yeah, the the other stuff we have left which are the questions how to start a trading company and how to build uh, stations and keep them running are for a, another uh, episode yes um, well there's one I can uh, answer and that's about the trading company yeah. there's not actually a, a company per se in this game that you can give a name or anything but you can have a shitload of assets like automated traders as in automated uh, freighters that trade for you which gain levels and factories and uh, complexes of factories that means factories that are connected together to eliminate the need of resources and that all kind of is the same as a trading company but it's not something you can give a label to in this game it's just you and all your positions but okay. as to how we uh, set up the factories and the traders, we'll get on that in a uh, in, in the next episode. Okay, uh, people are welcome to ask other questions. We will um, try to answer in upcoming episodes. So feel free to PM them or to on to um, ask them in answers to this video or yeah. Just yeah, the uh, comments. This video. That, that's easiest for us to keep track of it. Yep. Um, so, let's summarize all the questions. Um, how to enter five new systems? Well, just go to the big rings, which are the called accelerators. Uh, well, yeah, the, um, the, the Terran gates are called transorbital accelerators, but the regular gates are called jump gates. Okay, they are called jump gates. Anyway, look at big rings in the sky, <laughs> who yeah. are in north, west, east, and south. So every sector has four exits and entrances. Yeah, but they're not always in a uh, particular uh, or um, standard cross pattern, like you would see in the uh, let's see uh, Uranus. See, the south one is off center here, and there are uh, maps where they'll be very off center. For instance, there are sectors where the west gate and the south gate are close together and the north and the east gate are close together, but uh, the two sets will be uh, miles apart. And also the height will be different, so you can have uh, quite a time, uh, sorry, it will take quite a time to look for all the gates in a particular sector, especially if they lead to a uh, semi-hidden sector. Which usually are pirate sectors or xenon sectors. Okay. Um, answer to the next question: Operate your ship well. Dock at a station. How to yeah. trade stuff? Exactly the same. Yeah. What can What can you do uh, in a game? Well, fighting, trading, and. You had some other options. <laughs> <laughs> the, the main plots, yes. Oh, the main plots. Okay, um, how to start a trading uh, company. Yeah, we got well, that. There, yeah, we got that. There, There is no really, there is no trading uh, company option or something, but uh, you can automate all your assets and properties. Yeah. Build, build stations and keep them running will be in an upcoming episode. How to set trading routes with other ships? Um, just show them. Could you show them again in the menu? Because it's quite hard to say. All right. 
Well, you just go to your uh, property list, then select the trader that you uh, want. You can give them names, by the way, by going to advanced and renaming them. So you can keep them apart. Let's see, this is uh, Fighter 1. Fighter 1. Just a basic name for this uh, instance. Click on it. Hit on autopilot, command console, and then navigation, dock at whatever station you wanted to dock at, which you have discovered. You'll have to uh, actually go out and discover all these stations and sectors yourself before you can send your other ships to uh, those uh, stations to trade with. Also, as long as you don't have a friendly ship or a satellite near a station, you can't get any info on. Oh, sorry about that. You can't get any info on the uh, prices that they have. See, will be just be question marks. To do it um, from outside the station, we'll need the trading system extension. To uh, look at the prices. Okay, and the last question was um, how to get other trading ships, which was either buy them at the dock. And I think if you are, uh, if you have more assets, etc., you can also try to conquer them or something. Yeah, yeah, you could always uh, play the pirate and steal some. Well, we'll get to that later, when we discuss combat and uh, other tricks. Alright then, I guess that's it. Okay, right? uh, yeah, uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, Jay's uh, last question will be moved to the next episode, when we have the cheating enabled to get more uh, money, etc. So, thank you for watching, and please leave your ask uh, please ask your questions in the comments and we'll take them to the next episode right bye guys see ya